You... You look like a real patriot. Uh, patriot for what? The New California Republic, of course. The greatest nation on this irradiated earth. Yep, God bless the two-headed bear. Raise a glass to freedom! To freedom! Yeah, freedom! Woo! See you later! Yeah, one of the biggest mistake of their lives. Firing their best general. Whatever. Have fun being senile! Okay, um... You wanna talk? Buy me a drink. Your face paint looks stupid. Otherwise, get out of my face. Fine, just a cheap one, though. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Take a seat. Let's get this over with. He prefers to stand. So, what's your story? I was a mercenary, like most scavs. I fought for whoever had the deepest pockets. I was good at it, too. Real good. Age could never slow me down. And some sons of bitches took a sledgehammer to my knees, and it was all downhill from there. Because you kept rolling and rolling and you couldn't stop yourself, because your, your knees were broken. Oh, you, you took going downhill literally, didn't you? <laughs> Did the Legion do that? <laughs> I wish. Legion, at least, might have just killed me. Nah, I have Blackthorn's boys to thank for this. Oh, what, Blackthorn? Uh, why? I did some side jobs for the Legion. Mostly just contraband runs and a few raids. Oh. <laughs> but the NCR, they didn't appreciate that. They really didn't appreciate it. Gee, I wonder why. Might have killed me if I didn't pass out. Oh, you know. I couldn't go back into the field, obviously. And I lost all of my caps on pain chems. So it wasn't long till I found myself here. I've been drinking myself into unconsciousness ever since. <laughs> I was just moonlighting and murdering, pillaging. They didn't have to take that extra step. Eh, you don't seem to be doing that bad, I guess. You should see me on a bad day. So why don't you tell me about the war? You ever kill anybody? I think both sides should just die off. Yes! That's what I think. Ouch. It used to be that when you did a job for someone, it was just that, a job. No one held it against you, and everyone knew you were just doing it for the caps. Things were simpler then, things were good. Then these two superpowers show up and complicate everything. Everyone has an agenda now. Everyone has to take a side. And it's the people in the middle who suffer. People like me, innocent people. Innocent? <laughs> Portland would be better off without either of them. <laughs> Why don't they just go away and let me do my pillaging in peace? Uh, you really calling yourself innocent there? Hell no. But who do you think pays the most for this war? It's true. Just ask Bright Town. I can't. They all got killed by the NCR. Yeah, they're all dead. So, come here often? I live here, more or less. I used to sleep out back, but Charlie took pity on me, so now I sleep here on the floor. <laughs> yeah. At least there's heat. Want to play some Cure Man? No. Simple. Smart man. Uh, you can train me in anything? No. Get lost. <laughs> Alright, fine. Hey there, kid. Sit, relax, and have a drink or two. Uh, mm. Mm. Oh, you're Carly! I heard you used to be a bombshell before the war. Kid, I am Charlie. The Charlie. Well, I was 200 years ago. I started off as one of the Nuka girls. Then tried my hand at singing jingles for Abraxo and Dandy Boy Apples. I used to be a hell of a looker. A blonde bombshell that would melt fellas' hearts quicker than a nuke. Motion Mark Studios fell in love with my voice and my face. So did America. Soon my holotapes were flying off the shelves. I was on the cover of Meeting People, La Coif, even a dirty magazine or two. <laughs> Ooh, goodness. You know Vera Keys? Yes, I knew Vera Keys, snotty little tart. Ooh. She was always decidedly en bon point, if you ask me. I don't know what that means. We were rivals, she and I. It was pleasant until the day that conniving bitch stole my limelight and my manager as well. Cool. She got the movie roles, the crown of Tinseltown, whilst I got the sloppy seconds of fame. I'm still pissed off I didn't get an invite to the Sierra Madre. <laughs> uh, don't be. 
Not that P-Town Radio was a bad gig, mind you. I have fond memories of that old little station. Still, it was just a bronze medal in the starlit race. I recorded my last big hit there just a couple weeks before the bombs changed it all. I often considered going back, but life was never the same since. Apocalypses have a way of killing the entertainment industry. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Still, I'd love to have a few old things to sate my nostalgia for the glory days. Uh, you want me to go to P-Town and get them? Well, I would appreciate it. Fair warning, though. The place always had a dark tinge to it. Late at night, I swore I used to hear and see things. Ooh. Rumor has it that an ingenue singer, Gracie Grant, died of a heart attack during a recording session there. Jeez. Drugs and alcohol were involved, naturally. Wait, so another haunted the building? The staff swore her soul stayed behind to finish her album. I'm not one to believe that nonsense, but I can't ignore the strange things I saw. Once, I think, I even saw Gracie wandering the halls. Who? Anyways, enough tickling your fear. Find my things and there will be a reward in it for you. Woo! I can do that. So, uh, we've actually visited Sierra Madre. It's a little different these days. Yeah, it sucks. It's got toxic clouds. Toxic clouds, you say? Probably leftovers from that cheap perfume Vera always slutted around me. <laughs> wow. So catty. She's <laughs> so catty. Aw, she was cute. Look at her. Yeah, was. Definitely. <clears throat> Ow! What the <laughs> fuck was that? Got too close to the fire. <laughs> what the hell? Oh! Oh! Help! Help! Stop driving and roll, man! God, Stop you! Roll. You! You! Wow! Welcome back. So, uh, old world restaurants any different from new ones? The ones I frequented were more refined than this place, that's for damn sure. Coca vin, duck confit, filet mignon. Those were the days. Oui, oui, madame. People used to flock to little diners and family restaurants, too, for french fries, hamburgers, heroes, and other greasy spoon delicacies. The hell's a hero? Naturally, I only stopped in to donate my photo and sign autographs. Not to dine on such low-caliber fare. Hmm. That gives me an idea. There was this old fast food joint. Atomic Sands, that made radiation-roasted hamburgers. Ooh. Ugh. Mind you, I would never be caught dead in a place like that. But I still recall the commercials and lines outside. If I could replicate those burgers, I could finally put a heart on the competition around here. Oh, yeah? As a ghoul, using radiation to cook the patties won't even tickle. Tell you what, you get me the recipe, and we'll serve them here. I'll also throw in 400 caps. Ooh. Yeah, okay. We can do that, too. Charlie's Brahmin Burgers. Done your way. Catchy. I kind of like it. All do you, right. I have one of those burgers. Do you, can I just give that to you? Uh, can you tell what a burger's made of by eating it? Anyway. You ever worry about becoming feral? Don't you worry about lead poisoning? <laughs> <It matters>. Wow! <laughs> so rude. So Snappy! Go apologize to her. I, I, I'm I, sorry, Charlie. I did not mean to offend you. Welcome back. We're looking for a companion. Got any ideas? She is. I'm not. You see that guy in the corner there drinking his ass off? What, downstairs? Maybe hard to believe, but he used to be a merc. Pretty good one at that. Yeah, not interested. His name is Donovan. Maybe he could put you in contact with one of his old pals. Oh. All right. Goodbye. Later, kid. All right, let's go see what Donovan has to say. But I'm not interested in Donovan. Shut up, I am. You're the person. What are you looking at? We heard you used to be a merc. Can you help us find someone to travel with? Yeah, I might know someone. But I think I need another glass to refresh my memory. <laughs> I have an empty one right here. Yeah, booze tends to have exactly the opposite effect. No fooling you, is there, kid? <laughs> Sorry, kid. Wish I could help you. But I burned all bridges when I left the job. Ain't nobody left from that life would even look at me. What, uh, we heard that you were a merc. What about you? Look at me. Is this the kind of person you want watching your back? No. At this point, I'm desperate. Why do we always have to bring people? Because variety is the spice of lasagna. No, variety is the spice of lasagna. Variety can be the spice of many things. So long as you have standards. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter anyway. I'm done with all of that. Why did you leave your Merc job? I hear it pays well. You've shown an awful lot of interest in me. What's your game here? I can't ask a couple of questions without having some kind of 
ulterior motive? My experience, people really don't give a damn what you have to say. Unless they got some kind of personal stake in it. But all right. Why'd I leave the job, you ask? Yes. Let's just say it was leading me down a path I didn't care for very much. What if I give you booze? You're trying to get me drunk so I start talking. Because <laughs> I'm okay with that. We'll trade stories, Zach. Give him a good one. All right, so when I was really little, I went to go into the play place in McDonald's, and I pulled the door open and grabbed the toenail of my big foot and just ripped the entire toenail off. <laughs> like, I had my socks on, and it ripped the whole toenail off. It just immediately, my sock was just, like, filling up with blood, and I'm laying on the ground screaming. Anyway, yeah, it took, like, a year for that freaking toenail to grow back. And it was painful. Whoa. <laughs> that's true. You got quite a story right there. <laughs> I guess it's my turn now, huh? All right. <laughs> See, my old man was a merc. One of the best. Taught me every trick of the trade, so it only made sense I put those skills to good use. I never really liked doing it, though. Young fool that I was. In the beginning, I thought I could just work on a protection detail or something. And only for good, honest people. Mm -hmm, Keep mm -hmm. it clean, you know. It doesn't work like that, though. Please, elaborate! Well, you just can't afford to be too choosy about the jobs you take. Not unless you want to starve to death. So you start making compromises, one after another. Till one day you wake up and you realize you're too far gone. You've lost yourself. And that's what happened to you. Uh-huh. Man, when Dan came along, well, that was the last straw. Who is Dan? Merchant of sorts. Some poor bastard owed him cats. So Dan hired me and one other merc to go with him and teach the guy a lesson. I figured we'd only trash his place a bit, maybe rough him up a little. Standard stuff. Mm -hmm. the idiot fought back and, well, but shit like that happens sometimes, you know. I've seen it go down a hundred times before. What is it about that job that made you quit? See, the man had a wife and two sons. They weren't in the house when we got there. The wife and the younger boy caught us on the way out. They'd only come two minutes later. Because Dan was going to get his money's worth one way or the other. He grabbed the wife. The other merc caught the kid. Uh-oh. Told me to get a rope. Oh, that's how you get money from them. But I just stood there. He told me again. I turned around and I walked away. I didn't help him do it, but sure as hell didn't do anything to stop him either. Dang. So that's why you're drinking yourself into oblivion. I tried real hard to leave it all behind me. Pretend it never happened. But if you got a shred of decency in you, all the shitty things you do are bound to come back to haunt you sooner or later. Yep. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, you killed. I could tell that much. They'd ever keep you up at night. I don't want to talk about it. Fair enough. Can't say I blame you. Some days you murder Major Kevin and you're smiling. Sometimes you're poisoned in Freeside and you're frowning. Yeah, that wasn't a fun day. What happened to that man's family? Did they pay up? What do you think? From what I've been told, at least the boy died quickly. The woman wasn't so lucky. I don't know where the older son was at the time or what happened to him after all that. Nothing good, I'd imagine. If it bothers you that much, maybe you need to, like, make amends or whatever. And how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, find Dan and blow his brains out? <laughs> I'm a little too old to be playing vigilante kid. Besides, what good would that do now? It's, it's always good to have a hobby. Revenge could be a hobby. <laughs> maybe you got a point. I guess I should go try to find the boy. Try to get some kind of closure. <laughs> Even if it comes a muzzle velocity. Yeah. I've got to do this. What do you intend to say to him? What's going to be your one-liner you give him? Hell if I know. Something yeah. like, Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no legs. Bam, bam. No, 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 no. He's talking about finding the kid and apologizing. Oh, Hey, small kid, you ain't got no legs! Bam, bam! Oh, God! All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to have company. We'll go to the old boy's house, then. Yeah! I don't know if he's still there. If 
She's even alive for that matter, but we gotta start somewhere. Well, we gotta go go to P-Town for Carly first anyway. We got, Mike, we have like five other things we have to do. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Why do we keep taking missions? <laughs> this, you jackass. God, no, I need you though. You're my ammo carrier. <laughs> you have a back mule. Now, how far away is this quest? Not too far away, hopefully. I, I actually really like these iron sights. Yeah? They, they seem pretty intuitive and easy to use. They kind of draw my eye in real effectively. Well, are you aiming through the circle or are you aiming for the lined up tops of the pillars? The way this one works is you aim through the notch in the rear, you put the circle over the center of the target. So See, the, he agrees with me. The prongs on Oh, look, he puts on a hat when we go outside. <laughs> ah, it's funny. The prongs on either side don't really matter. No, they do, but just, oh, whatever. I'm not going to explain this. They're kind of like ghost ring sights, but Slightly different. You're just putting the enemy in the circle and then you're firing your gun. You put the enemy in the circle, but you also have to put the circle in the middle of the two rear notches. Uh, is there like a notch halfway up those two pillars? Those two prongs? No, no, it's just you're just putting them in the center. Hmm. Okay. I'm a bad teacher, Mike. I'm a bad teacher. Okay. I don't know how to instruct you. Look, zombies. Wendingos! No, they're not zombies. They're Wendingos. I heard you gotta shoot them in the leg. The shoot leg the is leg. the weak point. Yeah. Okay, I wish I would have known that before. <laughs> that is so much easier. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't I know that before? I thought they were zombies too. Oh, uh, for God's sake. Yeah, you just blast their knees off. Uh, so I'm, um, I'm kind of liking this rifle. I mean, granted, I've only used it on like two enemies so far, but... Um, <laughs> you did one-shot their knees. I, I like how it's a 357. Ah, fuck. Oop, hang on. We got a bad guy. There we go. Problem solved. I just tear it through their knees. Yeah, man, I'm shooting 357 mag hollow points. <laughs> yeah, this rifle freaking slaps. Hey, Mr. Zombie, I like the way you die. <laughs> oh, hang on. This one's close. It's not looking good. Do you want a different gun? Also, I like that you have a sawed off, but you still have it threaded for choke tubes. <laughs> that is ridiculous. I don't know what that means, but if you're happy, I'm amused. It's funny. I don't know if I really want to go into the intricacies of explaining what choke tubes are and how they work. <laughs> Shadow All right, right do you, any of you guys got ammo on you? They're Wendingos, so yes. That one has 25 <laughs> mil grenades. That did not prove your point, Mike. <laughs> I, I said yes. This one's got five, five, six rounds. <laughs> and a, a knife. And an energy cell. And three stim packs. And some Rataway. And a microfusion cell. And Mentats. Oh, he's a treasure chest on legs. Yes. Well, not anymore. That one was a mimic. <laughs> Four, 740 mil grenades. Good God, why haven't I been searching Wendingos? <laughs> this is insanity. Why do they have so much? Ow! Oh my God! They're a bit of a glass cannon. Remember, we're looking for P-Town, which is somewhere between O-Town and Q-Town. And also near Brown Town. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I get it. Ah. Uh... Bathroom joke. Got him. I think that one may have already been dead. I don't think so. Ugh. Why can't we just ever talk things out? <laughs> I don't know. You want to talk to that beast? <laughs> yeah, you want to try and talk it out with this guy? Mr. Uh, Aloe Vera Face? Sorry, I don't speak. <laughs> <laughs> What's in this building? Uh, uh, this is P-Town. Oh, that's where we're going. Yeah, this is where all the P is. Gross. This is where you're going to get peed on. This is where you're going to get peed on, Donovan. You, you get peed on here. Don't go in here, you'll get peed on. Unless you're into golden showers. I'm not into that. I'm into feet, not golden showers. Wait, no, <laughs> I'm not into that. I'm not into that either. Okay, maybe just a little bit between you and me. <laughs> Whoa, what is going on in here? Radio exploded. Oh, this place is haunted. I forgot we're in another haunted building. Again? Yay, haunted buildings. Well, at least we got a ghost killing. <laughs> <laughs> haunted buildings, yay. <laughs> Spooky, spooky building. Spooky building. <laughs> that lady burst into flames. She was like, hello, I'm a go- ah! <laughs> Julie, those P-Town promotion bears are going like hotcakes, despite Charlie's off-cover remarks about it being low-grade garbage. She called it worse, but I dare not repeat her language. Anyway, I got one for my daughter. I'm thinking of using it as a Christmas stocking stuffer. Thanks again, Mark. I don't know why you gave Mark that advice. 
Truly, I swear I'm not going crazy. Alberto and I were doing some checks on the piano in the recording room late last night, and we heard, we saw her, the redhead ghost that the janitor's complaining about. Well, most of her. She was transparent, but strikingly beautiful. She didn't seem to mind us, but just stood at the main mic and attempted to sing a song. We have to tell somebody about this. A priest? A rabbi? Scientist? I don't know who you're gonna call, Julie, but we can't have evil spirits spooking the staff. Probably call the Ghostbusters. Regards, Beth. Also, if I'm Beth, probably shouldn't use this voice. Julie, someone's been snooping around in my office. I know because a bottle of expensive scotch is missing from my mini fridge. By expensive, I mean like a week's worth of your salary. Better tell people to watch their asses I have a loaded 44 on my desk and I'm one hell of a shot, Charlie. Charlie sounds kind of like a bitch. Maybe she's mellowed out in her ghoul years. Yeah, she was pretty catty when we saw her. Do you think, uh, oh, Cheap Sin. What is that? This is Charlie's chart-topping single, Cheap Sin. Unfortunately, it's not in working condition. Oh, uh, how do you think that song went? I like booze, it's a cheap sin. I, I like booze, it's a cheap sin. If you don't want to lose, well, you better win. Cheap Sin. I think it went like, my milkshake brings all the boys to the <laughs> Why is that my default? <laughs> Why is my milkshake just my default? Doesn't even make sense. It doesn't! Pete Town Bear! You've been living in this pe- Oh! Over there. This ghost knocking bottles! And the oven likes to explode! I don't think there's anything in here. It's just an angry, vengeful ghost. Yeah, but ghosts are dumb, though. The ghost heard me talking! The ghost heard me talking! I it. thought of it. <laughs> I can't tell if the ghost is angry or if it's New Vegas glitching again. I don't know. It could be both. <laughs> I never thought I would see a resonance cascade, let alone cause one. <laughs> Take that, ghost. Make you double dead. What, what are you doing? I'm going to send you to double hell. Oh, she's singing. Well, she's trying to. Cheap sin if you want to win. No, no that's, that's not what she's singing. She can't be singing that because that's Carly's song. Cheap sin, I'm plagiarizing it. Fuck you. You getting in there, Donovan? Donovan is just like, hey, lady, how you doing? You seen any uh, kids around here? Did I murder your husband too? <laughs> Gracie smiles at you and you hear Charlie's office unlock. You get the feeling that she understands you aren't here to plunder her radio station. Maybe. She goes back to trying to record her album from so long ago, unaware that no one can hear her voice. Um, yeah, I'm totally not here to plunder your radio station, uh, he said as he took the violin out of... <laughs> Is that like the Stradivarius violin from Fallout 3? Where's Charlie's office? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Cheap sin. Trouble has a plan. Sheet music book, sheet music book, whiskey hidden behind the sheet music. Definitely not here to plunder. Nope. Nope, not here to plunder. I don't think she's interested in any of Charlie's stuff, though. I kind of get the feeling that she just does not give a shit about Charlie's stuff. Probably not. Ooh, an autograph magazine. 44 Magnum. Cat's paw number 75, mint condition. Ooh. Since we have so much of Charlie's stuff now, let's grab the burger recipe and head back. Woo, burger recipe! This is, this is only a light haunting. It's a minimal haunting. It really isn't that haunted. This is, this is the haunting you pay for when you're on a budget. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, like, if I lick someone's feet while they're asleep, that's perverted. But if I lick the feet of a corpse, it's a crime against humanity. I, it's, they have to be alive and a willing participant for you to apply your foot licking. Oh, don't you lecture me on the virtues of consent. Um, it's important. Hello, it rat. Oh, thank God that rat was behind bulletproof glass. <laughs> Dang. Um, I don't think I was supposed to go this way. Because <laughs> there's rubble now. Ah, Bethesda, my way over. What? Ah! Jeez, Louise! Good God, what is happening? Sand's a little hot right now. LZ is hot. LZ is very hot. Oh, God, scam. Oh, that's a vehicle. That's a... Ooh, it's a treaded bus. Look at it! Oh, if we don't blow it up, maybe we can hijack it. Can I hijack it? How do I hijack it? No, it's gonna, it's gonna shoot. All right. Oh, I got a nail sticking out of my face. 
All right, that's what was shooting at us. It was the bus. Gotcha, got It blends in so well to the other... Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell when, you know... All right, let's wait for it to blow up and go get the scrap. Blow up! Come on, do it! Did it already do that, though? No, it's just a smoldering wreck. Well, it's because it should blow up again. Mm, I don't know. I feel like it's gotta. Nah, it's, it's, actually, it's not done. It's done. <laughs> now, nope, nope. There's still another one. There's still another one. Wait for secondaries. We should wait. We should wait like three minutes. Is that what EOD recommends? I think EOD recommends you wait like an hour, but, you know, whatever. I don't think we can pill for anything from that wreck, though. All right, let's go check. It looks pretty banged up. Woo! Hey, look, those are some tasty words. Don't mind if I eat them. Fragmentation mines. Tell him what he's won, Mike. Two jerry cans, three case of 556, five, and a mini nuke and missile in the boss. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> that was good. Contact! Yeah, contact. How's it going, buddy? Whoops, I missed. There we go. <laughs> End of the line. Good stuff. How'd this dog sneak past? Ooh, a buggy. I see a buggy. You're trying to hijack that buggy? I, I just may. Would anybody mind? Okay, we have a working buggy. You just carjacked this place. Hell yeah, I did. Hope nobody needed this thing. Woo! Why, uh, why are there vehicles? What do you mean? I don't know. I just kind of feel like, why are there vehicles? I'm glad we... Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! How do I get out? Hey, you steal my vehicle! Ah. Hey, you stole Jimmy's vehicle! How dare you! Ah. Dynamite! I'm like, what's that? What's that? Dynamite! Ah. God! God! Oh, there's still more! Still more! Still... That is a big dog! Oh, good God. <sighs> okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad things... Jesus! <laughs> 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 What is even going on? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, there's more! There's more! There's more! Go! God damn it! Well did. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say in the last like 30 seconds! <laughs> Sweet Jesus in a birchmark canoe! <laughs> what has happened? We're good. Oh, we're not. Okay, now we're good. Now we're all oh good. Oh my god. Oh, hold on. Look at that statue right there. Look at that effigy. Oh, this is where we have to be. Okay, well, I gotta go get the vehicle and bring it back here. Yeah, scavenge little boy burgers. <laughs> Search the van. Uh, yep, that's how it out shell oh, the vehicle. Oh, crap. The van is completely toasted. Wait, was that our vehicle? No, 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 no. Oh, that, okay. was, that was just the van. I like how you picked up your buggy to drive. Literally two buildings down, because walking is, uh, it's just so environmentally conscious. Gotta put this canister to good use. Well, I had to make sure that no one stole the vehicle. Oh, that's fair. Or counter-stole it. Welcome to Atomic Sam Burger Palace, home of the atomic burger made with real nuclear waste. Actually, it's oh of... god, I was joking, but I, I, I apparently I was serious. They did admit that she did say that it's heated with radiation. That is a bad thing. That is a very bad thing. Give me this empty burger tin. Oh, it's empty. That doesn't help me at all. Where is the recipe hiding? This seems like a terrible, terrible idea. You don't want to cook burgers with radiation. Why not? Because it's real bad for you. Well, it's, it's good for you because it hits, it heats the burgers. I don't think that's true. It might also genetically modify. Oh, good. They just had a radioactive heater in here, too, to keep it warm. Yeah. Why not? What the fuck? No, what did it shoot? Flesh slime. Ah! What the? F Creepy crawlies. I don't like this. All right. Why am I on fire? Why am I on fire? Oh, probably in here. Sick. Rep stop. I came down with flu. I'm heading home early. If you need to get me off, if you need to get me off, the sparker has a spare key. Try not to worry about what that son of a bitch pack said yesterday. 
I'm gonna meet with a reporter on Sunday for dinner and blow the lid on this place. You're good kids. Don't let some corporate asshole tell you otherwise, Antonio! <laughs> and then he fell over dead. Oh, we need to find a key. Ah! Why was I still on fire? Tonight's plans! Oh, hello. Connie, meet me at our usual spot under the overpass after work. No Antonio means we can cut out early. Don't bring Carlos again. That wet blanket can't even hold down one beer without puking. I mean, he's usually puking because we're cooking food with radiation, but anyway. That old trailer already smells like booze, burgers, and cigarettes. I don't need more barf in the mix. Also, good news! I stole another bottle of scotch off the old man, and he won't say anything. Josie is already on his ass about going to work drunk. She'll leave his ass cold if he starts bitching about missing liquor or trying to blame me. Anyway, see you after work. My name is also Parker. Alright, so let's go find the key then. In the overpass. Uh, yeah, they're dead. <laughs> they had radiation suits. Oh, God. Well, yeah, of course, you have to have radiation suits to work at the place that makes burgers out of radiation. You don't have to, because you shouldn't be doing that in the first place. Found the key. <laughs> Here's the office. Ooh, a trophy. Fourth quarter's upon us, so we need to start the new marketing campaign. Remember that all premium sandwiches are be given the customer inside collectibles. Atomic Sam's Burger Tin. The store with the most sales will be given an extra 5% allowance for Christmas bonuses. Ooh. Yay! Wait, what was that about lead paint and the buns? <laughs> what? Hang on, what? We're going to gloss over that. The board of directors has also asked to provide this statement to any customers or reporters who ask about concerns over claims that lead paint is leaching into buns. The Topic Sands Burger Tins are designed in accordance with all federal guidelines, and the tin is scientifically proven to ensure the burger remains warm and fresh. At any rate, make sure you do your part. Edwin Burger Jazz. All right, claims of health concerns. Mr. Antonio Fry, I assure you that the claims of our atomic broiling system is causing your staff to experience headaches, nausea, and fever after working with it for months are unsubstantiated. Our retained clinical experts have deemed these as a somatic syndrome instigated by irrational fears of adult responsibility. Ah. Sounds to me more like lazy teenager syndrome. If anybody else complains, fire them. <laughs> I'm sure making an example of one of these belly acres will be the panacea to the mystery illness. Mark J. Peck, regional manager. Yup, that sounds like pre-war America. Uh, appar well. apparently the official uniform for the Burger Town workers is a radiation suit. Makes sense. Yeah. You look like Mr. Radical. Mr. Radical! Mr. Radical! By day he flips burgers. Yes. By night he dies of radiation poisoning. You Mr. Know. Radical! Y you had to be there, Donovan. You had to be there for it. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. All right, back to Carly. Yeah. Run! I mean, drive. Drive fast! Fly like the wind! All right, get out and start murdering, I guess. Nope, we can drive away. We can drive. I, I don't know. That's a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Our vehicle's on fire. Fail! Fail! Why is there a woman in her underpants on the side of the road? Ah! My poor vehicle! You shoot, I shoot back. We had it for a whole five minutes and it's gone now. Oh, God! You bastards killed our vehicle! What the... What is happening? Who is this? <laughs> and she's dead! She's just dead! She's just... What is even happening today? This vehicle's available. All right, guys, let's go. I got a new car. Get in the new vehicle. Go again. Okay, the, apparently we can't. Uh, all right, fine. You know what? Just leave the car. Gang war. Hey, everyone. Gang war. Gang. Okay, how the hell do we get out of here? That's that, that's the question a lot of people living on the streets ask themselves, Zach. How do we get out of here? If you're having problems with being poor and, you know, not being able to get out of the shitty living scenario you're in, just, you know, work harder. Don't be so poor, duh. Yeah, don't be poor. No, but seriously, who was that woman that you just parked the car on top of? I don't of? know. I don't know. Insane nude woman. <laughs> well, okay. Well, that answers a lot of it. She was an insane nude woman, it's Mike. Okay. Good. Oh, out of ammo for We've this thing. Ah! <laughs> Nicely done. You did good. I like his constant positive reinforcement. It's kind of refreshing. Oh my god! Okay, that was the firework cannon that people were talking about. Okay, we got to see it firsthand. <laughs> Bringing some color to your drab and dreary lives. Uh, oh man, Mike, you remember this from like the 4th of July that one year? Uh, oh yeah, when Ryan got the Roman candle in my hair, yes! <laughs> I remember I had the scar for weeks. Yeah. Thank you for 
having me relive those memories. You're welcome. Where's the broom? Oh, for God's sake, there's enemies nearby. Let's go back where there's not enemies. Well, of course there are. You brought them to our position by making a fireworks show. Hey, guys, come get me. To the moon. You can't drive that car. <laughs> I wasn't trying to. Hey, it's Carly at the bar. Carly. Welcome back. I checked out that old, old radio station, and I found some stuff for you. Wow, you actually went and got my stuff? Yeah. yeah. Mm, look at that face. I told you I was a looker. Anyways, thanks for making this old broad smile. Here, take this. It's the same brand I used on my show. Top shelf shit, kid. Charlie isn't putting bubbled horse piss between her lips. Uh, I've had that bottle for over a century as a little memoir. Oh, it's liquor. But the memorabilia you came back with gives me closure more than this dusty bottle. And you deserve a nice little something for your troubles. Woo! Oh. Pre-war champagne! I don't drink champagne. Also, burger recipe. Wow, you actually found a copy. Color me impressed. Now, let's see. Hmm. Cheese, beef, bread, and salt? Really? <laughs> that simple, huh? <laughs> yeah. I guess a simple recipe for a simple palate. Well, let me get started. If you want to give them a try, they'll be available for purchase from now on. Oh. Oh, and as promised... Here's a quick and dirty version for your travels. I have to say, that was a very productive day. Yeah, you know, it was, it was pretty interesting. Hey, lady! Lady, check it out, fireworks show! Woo! It's more impressive at night, but still. It's still pretty cool during the daytime, though, right? We're putting on a show for nobody, just like you most days. Ah, that was mean, Mike. Why'd you say that about her? Because she's dancing out here naked in the snow. That's true. She probably should put some actual pants on or something. Put some pants on, hussy. Or take them off. Like, you know, whatever. I'm, you know, you do or, you. Or go inside and take them off. You do you. You got to do you. Just follow your dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. No, wait, no. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday, you said tomorrow, so just do it. Do it. Remember that meme? That just do it meme? The yeah. Shia LaBeouf. Just... Shia LaBeouf. I, yeah. Actual cannibal. Actual cannibal. He is. All right. See you tomorrow. Okay. Do 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 do